Hey there! Sorry to scare you with my horrifying appearance. <laughs> This is my brand new Sona and channel mascot named Cosmic. He's just a little something to help fill the void of my usually dull videos. Expect to see a lot more of him because I plan on doing some different content ideas, including the occasional live stream. I'm definitely going to be live streaming Ruin when it comes out, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, I hope you enjoy the video. FNAF theories are a very broad topic to discuss. Some good, some bad, some downright weird. And among those theories is one that, while very commonly used, is extremely absurd in its premise. I call this theory the color connection theory. Basically, if a character has a specific or defining color, then any other character or even object sharing that color has a likelihood of being that same character or being related to them in some way. While this type of theory is mainly used for colors, it can also extend to objects or accessories. Basically, if multiple characters share the same colors or color scheme, then there's a chance that they might be the same person, or related to each other in some way. Although it sounds absurd, it's actually pretty commonly used throughout media. A good example being Super Mario. Like how red and green defines or signifies Mario and Luigi. In fact, a pretty common joke is calling Luigi Green Mario. Obviously signifying how basically Mario is the red one and Luigi is the green one. Circling back- Ah! God! Circling back to FNAF, this concept is also commonly used throughout the series. The best example being the color purple for William Afton, aka Purple Guy. His shady purple appearance, his purple car, and in more recent games, the purple eyes, signifying his presence in some way. These examples of color connection are used pretty well throughout their respected series. However, this is where theorizing messes things up. Really badly. Like, really, really bad. The best example of how this color scheme concept got so messed up is probably Elizabeth Afton with her green eyes. In Sister Location, we're introduced to a minigame where we play as Circus Baby. In this minigame, Circus Baby has blue eyes. As the minigame ends, Circus Baby captures Elizabeth. And then throughout the main game, Circus Baby has green eyes, the same eye color that Elizabeth has. This is used as a clear indication that Circus Baby is possessed by Elizabeth. Now that seems pretty easy to understand, right? Now what if we bring in Vanessa? Vanessa also has green eyes. Circus Baby having green eyes meant they were Elizabeth. So if Vanessa has green eyes, that must mean they're Elizabeth too, right? Already you can probably see the downward spiral this path leads. This is where the color connection theory starts. You have one character who has a specific defining trait, in this instance being a color, and then you have another character who has a similar color or defining trait. Pretty easy stuff. And then you just go through some mental gymnastics and BOOM, they're the same character! Now I'll get to why these kinds of color connection theories are so... silly... in a bit. But I just want to show you how frequent these kinds of theories are. Now first you have the basic Vanessa and Elizabeth are the same character because they both have green eyes. And then you add another step to it. They're the same character because they have the same hair color. And no they don't! Their hair color is completely different. One's like a bright yellow golden color, the other one's orange. Like the color of the fruit orange. Like the brightest orange you could possibly get. And then there's a more recent theory made by FNAF, and no disrespect to them at all. They're a, they're a great FNAF theorist, they're a great content creator. But like, one of the points they made was a green button that that's supposed to signify it's Charlotte Charlotte possessing Circus Baby even though Circus Baby is already possessed by Elizabeth and already has a defining feature being being the green eyes I don't feel like talking more in depth about it so here's a montage to fill the void Now that that's over, let's get into the main issue with these kinds of color connection theories. The first issue is storytelling, or lack thereof. Let's go back to Elizabeth and Circus Baby. 
What's the reason Circus Baby has green eyes? Is it because the color green represents Elizabeth? No. Is it because green eyes represent Elizabeth? No. It's because Elizabeth is possessing Circus Baby, and the green eyes are to signify that. And of course we know this because we see it happen in Sister Location. Color connections are still obviously a thing, as we've discussed earlier with Purple Guy. However, they're really only prominent when they're directly shown to us. Like with Elizabeth and Circus Baby's eyes. They both have green eyes, but that doesn't mean everyone with green eyes is controlled by Elizabeth. Or like how William Afton can be represented through the color purple, but that doesn't mean anything that's purple represents William. Like Mr. Hippo or Classic Bonnie, they have little to no ties to William. Whenever these color connections are prominent, they seem to be shown straight to us. Color connection theories can work, but it matters how they're set up, or if they're even set up at all. It's the difference between gaining green eyes through possession, or just two objects sharing the same color. One has a story, and one is just a coincidence, if you can even call it that. And of course you can set up a story in your theory to support your evidence, but at that point it's just creating an entirely new story, creating a different continuity, creating an alternate universe that you made up. And the problems don't even end there. There's a lot more when it comes to color connection theories, like how the rules work. If Circus Baby's green eyes are supposed to just represent Elizabeth, and Vanessa's green eyes are supposed to represent Elizabeth, when does that end? Would it mean every single character with green eyes is supposed to represent or be Elizabeth? And if we keep following those rules, would we end up with something like this? The main problem with these color connection theories is that there's no reason or logic for these things to happen. And if you try to set up the groundwork for these theories, you just end up with a lot of speculation. You end up with a lot of ifs, like what if Elizabeth possessed Vanessa and gave her green eyes? Or what if Gregory was a crying child robot and that's why he has brown hair and a striped shirt? Or what if all of these people with the same green shirt, who are obviously just supposed to be placeholders for an average human, what if they're all just the same person and they're secretly a giant lore character? Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. I tried something new with this, more of a commentary based video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna be trying a lot of new stuff with the channel soon, so uh, stay tuned. If you liked the video, feel free to subscribe. If you didn't like the video, feel free to subscribe anyway, because you might like a different video. And have a great day, night, or heat death of the universe, depending on what time you're watching, and goodbye.